Hi everyone, it's Sarah Lynn with Crest Direct, and I'm here with another fun outdoor game idea. Check out this video, and I'm going to show you how to make your very own wooden Bible set. The set has 16 different letter blocks that you simply roll and place back in the tray and see how many words you can come up with. It's such a fun idea for outdoor gatherings or inside on those rainy days. Check out this video, and I'll show you how it's done. We're going to start by staining each of the 16 2-inch wooden block sets with this walnut wood tint made by Folk Art. I'm going to brush the wood tint on each side and then use an old rag to wipe off any excess stain. Make sure you shake up the stain well before applying. If any of your blocks have some leftover sticky residue from the UPC sticker, just lightly use a sanding block or sanding paper and that'll get that sticky right off. Next I'm going to take my roll of white vinyl and cut it into one and a half inch strips so I can fit it through my die cut machine. I'm going to use the Oliver's ABC's die cut set by Lawn Fawn to cut out my letters, but there are a lot of other options you could use too if you don't have a die cut machine at home. Any sticker letter that's flat will work great, or stencils as well. I'm going to cut out the letters so that each side of the block has one letter on it. I do have the letter combinations that I used on each die listed on the instructions on our project sheet. Because you do want to make sure you have enough vowels versus consonants when making each die. Next, I'm simply peeling off the back paper of my vinyl and placing the sticky letter onto the center of the side of the die. This is the putsy part of the project. Keep doing that with each side of each die. Next, I'm going to remove the jute that was on the back side of the plaque, as well as the hang tab. You'll need a screwdriver for this. Next I'm going to paint the frame on the tray. So I'm using some washi tape or painter's tape to tape off all sides, the inside as well. Once it's completely taped off, I'm using titanium white acrylic paint by Folk Art to paint the outside frame of the tray. Once the paint is dry, gently remove the painter's tape from around the edges. and you're left with a super fun, durable boggle set that's great for get-togethers and parties, and both inside and out. Simply roll your dice around to mix up the letters, place them in the tray, and see how many words you can come up with with that letter combo. You can find a printable score sheet on our project page. Thanks for watching and have fun playing. For more project ideas, go to crafttrack.com projects.